you guys my name is Jenny welcome welcome back to my channel as you can already tell from the title of this video it is gonna be the house too I think it's been two months in shifting by the way the whole shifting process is up on my channel if you are interested as a Indian in Singapore I find the living situation a bit different in India it's all about the individual houses but here it is all about the flats and condos really tall buildings glasses which I kind of like but you know it can't be the individual house though and I haven't even seen the individual house for rent in here and the rent is just huge. The main reason for shifting from that HDB to this condo is the noise. I don't even remember the last time I slept throughout the night in that building. The upstairs neighbors, they were just horrible. I think they have a little boy. You can hear him cycle around at night. At night meaning 12, 1, 2, 3. You can hear him play with his toys. You can hear the ball bounces from very high frequency to low. And it was just driving me crazy. I could not sleep at all. You know, with the COVID, I was also sleep deprived. It was not fun whatsoever. After enduring that for like three months, finally shifted to this condo. This is how most of the condos are. It has kitchen, dining and the living space all in an open concept probably for saving space. I think I have been cooking here a lot more than I did in the previous place even though the kitchen looks small, even though the kitchen is small, it has a lot of storage space. And it also comes with an induction stove top which is kind of new for me but I think I prefer this over the regular stove top because it kind of is safe and it is very very easy to clean up. Opposite to kitchen, there is this mini storage space which is super duper messy. It has a lot of covers and you know like messy stuff in that so I'm not even going to open it up. And also this front loading washing machine. I wanted one since I was very very young. And uh, about that, it is kind of a storage space for plates and veggies. And next to this washing machine, there is this refrigerator. I'm not going to open this up. It is not messy but it's not like aesthetically organized so... And next to this kitchen area, there is this dining table with two chairs and uh, I don't remember sitting, eating or doing anything here. Mainly it comes handy while cooking, you know, keeping hot stuff or pouring water or something like that. Now to the living area, I love, love, love this spot mainly for the view. I think this is where I spend most of the time in this house. I love sitting here and staring at the clouds, the view, the plant babies. Watching TV, reading, writing, chatting, eating. I'm pretty sure I have done all at the same time too. I arranged all these books here so that I will always have a choice when I come and sit here, TV or books. <music> favorite 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 part of this house is this balcony when i wake up really early i like to do my journal there it is currently holding all of my plans now and i don't have space for doing journals but it is just a whole different experience with the morning air fresh breeze the sky the view this house was, was listed as two bedrooms but it is more like one bedroom one study or home office room first let me show this one <laughs> Start your computations. like the content creating type of room i like to write here i like to do my makeup record videos for ig and also edit my videos here this room comes with this huge long table i really wish it didn't you know i just wish they had a table where you can just stack up things and save space but it is what it is this side of the table is the writing planning stationery and stuff and that side of the table is makeup recording type of stuff and it is divided by this mirror. This room doesn't have a lot of sunlight. The windows open only halfway and they are also tinted. So I opted for this mirror. This is from Lazada and it has like teeny tiny lights all over it. So it just brightens the space up. This is how it looks. I mean the camera is picking up light so it's bright in here but it's not this bright in real life. 
this room also has a wardrobe it's not messy but it's not aesthetically organized either this is an organizer from ikea i adore it it just perfectly fits all of my makeup in it at the opposite side here is the little camera corner and unicorn and a stitch and this is my journaling thingies with some accessories my comb and stuff and also here all the books that i am planning to read I really have to take this one out. It is for Halloween. I think I'll be changing this something Christmassy. I love, love, love the view of this bedroom. Even when it's morning, evenings, at night, it has a totally different vibe. I think we really need to thank the owners here. They could have just given some crappy old secondhand furniture, but they did not. Everything, every furniture here is brand new, which I really appreciate. This is another wardrobe in this room. And can you see that? A brown color door it is also a storage space very very little super duper messy every extra luggage is in it and this one is another bathroom there are two bathrooms in this house and this is my favorite just because the shower apart from the actual house house this condo also has gym swimming pool rooftop with some nice little tables and the amazing view guys you can literally see a reservoir from this and oh my god it just looks so good especially at nights with the lighting i don't know why but i absolutely love watching house tours morning routines kind of video on youtube it just is fun and uh, nice to see how other people live where they live and uh, how they carry on with their day and stuff i hope you enjoy my little video too and i have so many fun contents planned for january and also december so i hope you consider subscribing i'll see you guys in my next video stay healthy and have fun